Hi guys and welcome back to another week in my life vlog. It's been a very long time since I've done these uh, type of vlogs and I thought uh, it would be great to make another one about my life as an engineer and yeah. Uh, today, well, it's almost 9 o'clock and I just got to work. I usually work uh, a couple hours from home in the morning and I try to come in around 9 because that's when everybody comes in. But this week is uh, Memorial Day week. So a lot of people took time off, so it's going to be pretty chill. Let's get this day started. Hmm. I have a doctor's appointment at 12.30, so I'm going to that. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, but I was kind of forced into this because um, there's an incentive that we get if we do a checkup every year, and I think it's the, it ends at the end of the month, which is like in three days, so I had to like schedule this appointment really quick, and I'm kind of glad that I found someone who could take me in because usually it's very packed and you have to wait like a few weeks before you can get in. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm pretty sure you know that um, I was in Italy a couple weeks ago and usually when I travel, I try to vlog where I go, but this time I decided not to vlog. I realized that mm, I don't really get a lot of as many views from travel vlogs as I do from other vlogs, but I really enjoy traveling. I do travel a lot. so. I don't know where I was going with this, but I guess what I'm trying to ask is let me know down below if you guys like travel vlogs because the numbers really say that you, a lot of you don't really care for them. Probably because you're on my channel because you want to uh, learn about engineering or about school or about studying me and stuff like that, but let me know down below if you really enjoy watching travel vlogs like that because I really love watching them and seeing where people go and stuff like that. And my trip to Italy was really fun. We went to a lot of places, we ate a lot of good food, and it would have been nice to vlog it, but it, I mean, I don't really mind not vlogging it. Um, but to see what I did in Italy, um, I will link my Instagram somewhere here so that you can check them out. That's where I posted most of the stuff since I didn't really make a video on YouTube. I missed the turn! Arrived. No! <coughs> it's 4 o'clock right now and I just got back from work. I usually don't get, get in this early. I usually get in at around 6 or 5. But today I started work pretty early. And I'm actually pretty tired. So, yeah. I am back home. The day is over. Yay. Oh, before I forget, a lot of you ask me what I wear to work. So before I change, I will show you what I've been what I was wearing today. Oh, I'm wearing this blouse from H&M, which is just a regular like blouse. Um, not too expensive. I think it was $25 something like that H&M. I am wearing this uh, what do you call it? It's like a shirt? I don't know. And I believe I thrifted this one, so I don't really know. I can't remember where I got it from. These slacks, like black slacks, are from... Where are they from? Fashion Nova. Very comfortable. Pretty nice. That's what it looks like. And then the shoes that I was wearing are these guys from DSW that I got a couple weeks ago. It's like pumps. We're overall not required to dress up as much for work, but um, this is kind of what I wear when I don't really have to be going back and forth between the office and the factory. Um, so now because we are in the INT phase, which stands for integration and testing, that means we're actually testing and building the satellite itself. Uh, we spend a lot of time in the factory doing testing on the satellite. And a lot of people dress very casual. They wear jeans and shirts and um, just regular shoes and 
um, like sneakers and stuff like that just because it's pretty uncomfortable wearing like a suit or something tight when you're in a bunny suit the whole day um, so I don't there isn't really a strict policy against uh, what you wear at work but most people usually dress pretty business casual uh, but this is kind of like what I wear during the days when I know I'm just going to be sitting in my office the whole day. But if I have to be going back and forth between the office and factory, then I usually just dress down a little bit more. Because I really don't want to be uncomfortable in my, you know, the whole day in a bunny suit or something like that. Okay, I just changed and I'm going to go to the gym. I usually go to the gym at, um, like, I try to go at least three to four times a week, but a couple of couple past weeks I've been traveling and I didn't really work out as much as I want to so today is my first day back and I'm excited because I'm doing something different I'm gonna go to my regular gym that I go to every all the time and then I signed up for this class um, I can't remember what it was called but it's almost like a Pilates combination class so hopefully it's good because that way I can do it all the time so I think I'm running late. It starts at 6.30 and 6.15, so let's go. Oh my God, you guys, I am dying. Oh my God, that was crazy. I thought it was gonna be easy, but I thought wrong. My legs are jello, I can barely walk, and I feel awesome. It was actually pretty good and I really wanna do it again. Oh, look at this, look at this sky, hold on. Oh my God, look how pretty that is. It actually looks better in real life, but it's super pretty. I burned like, 557 calories just from less than an hour in this class it was stupid hard it was really hard i'm trying to export the study with me video for like days and it's been getting corrupted for some reason and it's really annoying me this is like the fifth or sixth time i've tried and it takes two hours to export which is freaking ridiculous okay let's see if it works I really hope it does because I haven't posted anything in a while because I was busy with finals and I was planning on posting this guy so hopefully I swear to god I will be oh get it oh my god whatever moving on so um, I asked a bunch of you on Instagram for those of you who follow me if you wanted to see a how I budget my money um, video so this uh, this is a giant budget excel sheet that I use to budget my finances and stuff and um, if you guys are interested let me know down below if you want me to show you how I use it and also share it with you if you want um, yeah, but it's just a tool that I use pretty much every month to budget what my expenses and everything. So it's just pretty much just a month by month and I can make a separate video to just explain how it works and maybe share it with you guys. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in seeing that. Okay, I switched back to my camera because it's finally charged. Sorry about the weird change in quality suddenly. Um, but I get a lot, a lot of questions from a lot of you asking me about what satellite I'm working on. And in order for me to avoid um, share, oversharing information, because I'll get in trouble if I tell you more than you're supposed to know, um, I'm just going to refer to this website. It is a NASA website, which means it's public domain. So all of the information here is for everybody to consume. So... The satellite that I'm working on currently, mainly, um, I'm actually work, working on the satellite uh, full time. It is called Landsat 9. Um, it, this is a series of satellites. It's not new, um, as you can tell from the name, 9. <laughs> the, there were eight previous ones before. Uh, some of them have failed, some of them 
have succeeded to go on orbit. But mainly, this uh, satellite is a NASA satellite, and it's also in cooperation or collaboration with uh, USGS, which is the U.S. Geological Survey. Um, and this program is just pretty much a continuation to all the Landsat 9 um, uh, satellites, or sorry, to all the Landsat satellites. So to keep things short, I guess, um, if you read over here, Landsat is the only U.S. satellite system designed and operated to repeatedly observe the global land surface at a moderate scale that shows both natural and human included changes. So this is pretty much like a weather satellite. It has two main instruments, uh, OLI-2, which is the Operational Land Imager 2, and TRS-2, which is the Thermal Infrared Sensor 2. So the both of these things, uh, instruments have their own uh, functions, but they are the main uh, science instruments. So the sat I'm working on the satellite itself, so the bus itself, um, but these two are made by other companies. Um, one of them is made by NASA and one is made by Bolt Aerospace in Colorado. Let's see what it says. Uh, Oli 2 is supposed to capture observation of the planet, invisible, near, infrared, yeah, like one of them is just a very, very, very fancy camera, um, and the other one is a very, very, very fancy thermal infrared radiation, um, yeah, so it says it right here. Northrop Grumman will design and fabricate a Landsat 9 spacecraft, integrate the missions to government furnished in instruments, and conduct satellite level testing and orbit satellite checkout, yep. That's all that we're doing. And it is launching from Vanderburg in California um, the end of next year. So I'm really, really excited because if you think about it, I've been already working. I've already, whoa, look at me. <laughs> Excuse the fashion right here. But I've already been working on this satellite for like two years. I was an intern for a whole year and I I am, I've completed my first year as a full-time engineer. So there's only one more year. So sometime next year, at the end of next year, hopefully if there are no delays, uh, we would expect to launch 2020. And I'm super, super excited for that because we've worked so hard so far and we still have a lot to do. It's not, it's not like we're almost done, but it's, I don't know. It will be my first ever launched satellite so I'm super excited and from the other senior engineers I hear all the time about how your first launch campaign is like the best campaign because you will never forget it um, and a launch campaign is like a whole shebang because you go to the launch pads and you pretty much are there the whole time to support launch and I'm really really excited to get to um, experience that and I feel very lucky to be able to say that I'm someone who has contributed to something of this like big impact you know yeah anyways um it is 8 30 right now i'm gonna get ready to go to sleep i'm gonna catch up on some emails and some work and then just go to sleep because i wake up pretty early and i think i'm gonna end the vlog right here um i really hope you guys enjoyed it let me know down below if you enjoy vlogs like these thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you're new and hit that thumbs up so that i know you enjoyed this vlog so that i can keep continuing making uh more vlogs and yeah thank you so much for watching again and for being so supportive of me and uh don't forget to wait oh and if you as usual if you have any questions don't forget to leave them down below i'll make sure I answer all of them. All right, thank you so much for watching again and I will see you next time. Bye.